decide where lines were to be drawn between socially redeeming works and pure smut. In 1955, the first issue of Playboy magazine triggered obscenity proceedings across the country. But by the 1970s, porn was out of the back room for good. The sexual revolution has been wonderful. It's been a remarkable change from sex equals sin to sex as... Were bought or rented. These last 30 years have been nothing short of a cultural revolution. An American society once described by its intellectuals as hopelessly puritanical has become a publicly wide open country. And that fact has made porn more explicit, more offensive to many than ever before. system. The Motion Picture Association has been rating movies for 17 years to help parents decide what films their children may see. But that system has also freed filmmakers to become more daring. The television industry has its own standards for deciding just what is appropriate and special rules for keeping programs considered inappropriate off the air when children are likely to be in the audience. Even so, with nearly half the nation's homes now wired for cable, the opportunity to see material that many find objectionable has expanded dramatically. Most of the nation's major record companies, under pressure from Washington, recently agreed to label records containing explicit references to sex or violence. Stop using sex as a weapon. Stop using sex as a weapon. And the producers of rock video have come under the critical scrutiny of a Senate committee, although no legislation is pending or even contemplated. In fact, any effort by the government to censor producers or to suppress material that falls short of the legal definition of obscenity always seems to produce court cases. San Antonio is now locked in a legal confrontation over its effort to keep children under 14 from attending rock concerts that feature vulgar, profane, or indecent references.